Hi everybody, this is uh, Kevin Kraut. I have an interesting scripture here. This is Alma 1, 21. And this is an interesting scripture. It, it kind of ties in with some of the other Roy Potter stories, um, different things that have happened in the church. Uh, we talked about the story where uh, there was a general authority of the LDS church who came to uh, a policeman who had been, who couldn't find a job anywhere because he lived plural marriage. They kind of uh, ostracized him, ate bald him, whatever you want to call it. He was on a blacklist. He couldn't get a job in Utah ever again. Um, this guy came and apologized to Roy and said, I owe you the most deep heart apology a man can give because it was my job as a general authority to make sure you never got a job in Utah ever. And he never did. I mean, it just never happened. Um, I myself lost a job. There was a lot of uh, religious implications in that. Um, I, there was a lot of persecution that happened with uh, me and my family. You know, my dad had a lot of incidents that happened. And so here's, here's a scripture that a gentleman asked me about the other day. And he said, well, you know, if, if you're going against the church, then they have a right to persecute you, you know. And, and you should be persecuted because you're you're uh, an apostate or you're out of the church or something. And I said, oh, really? Here, let's read the scripture on that. And this is Alma 1, 21. Now there was a strict law among the people of the church that there should not any man belonging to the church arise and persecute those that did not belong to the church and that there should no, be no persecutions among themselves. Okay, so the church basically say we're not a church is not a place where you persecute people. That's what Alma was teaching here, and so now we have a church today, a corporate entity, that teaches that uh, it's okay to persecute or that we can go ahead and do that, and that is an incorrect doctrine. This is something my my father had written against and and talked to many general authorities about this concept. Um, if it were me and I believe that the church, when this happens and they have persecuted plural marriage or other principles of the gospel, that they should, uh, they should stop this practice and abide by this number 21 and make it up to the families who have had this persecution. So anyway, that's what we need to do.